Um, we do have a quorum present. Do we have anyone who has signed up to speak on any topic? No, ma'am. Okay. Um, on to number C, discuss, consider, and possible action to approve the meeting minutes from the August 9th, 2021 meeting. I'll move that we approve those minutes. I'll second that. Um, all of those in favor? Unanimous approval. Um, item number D, yes, discuss, consider, and possible action on the fiscal year 2021-22 proposed budget. <clears throat> I spared y'all the uh, long drawn out letter. As discussed in the previous meeting, the uh, some of the targeted items that, that were considered were to participate in the uh, Johnson County Special Utility District water main project, the 380 agreement with uh, the Rumsfields on the parking lot across the street and the 50% funding of the Economic Development Coordinator uh, shared with the TAPB board. Those items all are reflected in this year's budget. Projected revenues are expected to be $500,000, just a slight increase over what was projected this year. Currently, we are at about 16.5% over what was projected for last year. If that trend continues, then uh, I don't think there'll be any problems hitting the $500,000 mark next year. Mike, does that still have to do with Amazon? It has a lot to do with Amazon. And it has a lot to do with one other business that has just <coughs> skyrocketed um, in sales. And I, <laughs> it's incredible. And, and it tells me one of a couple of things that explains the need for expansion that they're doing, uh, or they've been under-reporting their income for a long time <laughs> uh, because it is it is significant increases, but- Can you share who that is? Uh, sure, it's uh, uh, American Steel Carports. Oh, okay. Uh, business is booming, and I guess mm -hmm. in that. And I, yeah, I guess it could be industry-wide. I'm not sure, I haven't tried to, to buy one, but there's a lot of those buildings that are going up. And, um, I know that they're expanding. So uh, we see no reason that that trend is not going to continue. All the projections that we've run show that we're actually in the conservative uh, item uh, line a little bit. So yeah. I don't think we'll have any issues with those. So we'll, we expect uh, revenues of $501,000. You've got um, a few little miscellaneous things going on in Joshua Station. Uh, the, the contractor has not submitted uh, for his uh, retainage. They have completed the work. All the construction draws are complete, but we're still withholding 5% uh, for retainage that they not asked for. If they don't ask for that this year, then we'll roll that in, into next year's to cover that payment. But um, the expenditures uh, we've previously discussed, going to use some fund balance, fund balance rather than uh, pay the 30,000 annual payment for the parking lot. We're going to just wipe that off the books altogether. Uh, that That is reflective in there. The things that we talked about, uh, those three items are reflective of the budget. Uh, you will, this does not have your current ending fund balance, which is, uh, which it doesn't really matter for the budget. You won't need it, but uh, We'll use a little bit of that fund balance to, to cover the cost of that parking lot. And that's going to be your, that and the water line is going to be your biggest expense this year. Unless we come up with some project for y'all to look at. Financially, you're going to be in a very good position. Uh, you'll have a, um, probably better than half a million dollar fund balance at the end of the next fiscal year uh, if nothing else happens. So I think we're in a pretty safe place. That's good. 
with that, I'm happy to take any questions. Or, uh, Frank, we've got 45,000. <laughs> uh, is that uh, the position you were talking about at the last meeting that you're creating? It's correct. It's, it'll be an economic development um, coordinator, actually, an economic development director position. Um, we we believe that with that money, we can reach out and find somebody who is experienced, maybe not credentialed. Um, that's a pretty significant credentialing process. We're not going to find one for 90,000, um, but I think that we can find a very well qualified person that will work for us. So we're splitting that with B. We're splitting that with type B, that's correct. And I'm probably, we're, we've got three or four, um, three or four uh, applications or resumes in. Uh, I was going to talk to Darren tonight. I'm going to reach out to Darren. We're going to ask, uh, offer a, a spot if if there was someone that wanted to participate in the interviews with this person to meet the candidates and stuff. I'm going to give him a chance to get a hold of you guys and uh, send some money down for that. But that that'll be that will be it'll be after October one. So. <clears throat> Will we have to know the progress this person makes during the year? Absolutely. We'll bring that person to these meetings. Yeah. She will actually work for this board and for the type B board. Um, and she will come to these meetings and provide updates also to the council and provide updates. And uh, keep saying she. Well, I'm sorry, he or she, <laughs> whoever it is. It's Amber's fault. She <laughs> everything surrounded by women. <laughs> Um, so she is always the same thing for me to say. Um, that person uh, will be here at each meeting um, for both A and B and council and provide regular updates. Can I ask um, a question? What, what yes, is uh, you put your advertisement and um, there's there are some funds in there for um, International Council of Shopping Centers is a big trade show that we go to a lot of times to meet with developers and talk to people. Um, and when you go to those shows, you know, we, we, we pass out pens or thumb drives. We try to do something with the thumb drive because we put our maps on it. We put our uh, data on their economic data and and so that people don't like to leave with magazines and catalogs anymore so we try to give them something small a pen with a thumb drive attached to it that that's to cover those costs we should, that, that's for just different we advertise in a couple of magazines annually uh, that get out some of those trade magazines and that covers those costs type b shares in that cost with y'all as well Debt services covers uh, the debt in Joshua Station. Um, then the downtown infrastructure revitalization stuff, I believe that's where they flooded in the, uh, the money on the parking lot and for the water line project. The administrative line is the percentage that has always been paid to cover um, a small part of my salary it used to cover. I took Amber's out because she really doesn't uh, doesn't do much with this group, so we took that out. So uh, <coughs> part of my time and Alice's time. And, you know. Mike, do you get any figures at all as to what the COVID percentages are in either Johnson County or Joshua? You talk about the infection rate? Yeah. We do get it. Uh, I look at it. I, I haven't looked at it. We, it comes out every couple of weeks through the emergency management office. Uh, it's not a high number for us. <clears throat> um, so I really haven't been tracking it real close because it's, it's still relatively low here. The numbers are going up in the population centers. And I mean, even as close as Fort Worth. Uh, yeah, that's why. I but we are, we're, I mean, obviously there are people here that have it, but it's not in the numbers that you're seeing in other places. Are any other questions on the budget? <laughs> the proposed budget? 
Is there action needed by us at this time to approve this? Yes. yes. Are we still? Okay. So, are there any other questions? If not, is there a motion to approve the budget as presented? Move to approve. Second. Okay. All those in favor? Sure. And it does pass unanimously. I just had another quick question off this. Um, projected growth in population. With all the house projects and apartments and stuff going in, what is, um, has that changed? Are we still looking at pretty much the same <clears throat> percentage growth that we've been looking at? Well, I think we're going to see a, a little bit of an increase. Growth is, is really figured or estimated <laughs> on. In census in 10 years out is what, what the projections are going to be in 10 years. We are going to exceed the projection for Joshua this 10 years, but not a whole lot. I think we're going to land somewhere. The last number that the COG gave me when I talked to somebody last week, I want to say it was 8,800. Um, that may change a little bit the way houses are going, but we have. Um, pretty sizable amount of new construction on the books. Mm -hmm. um, there are um, probably over 150 lots on the ground, another five or 600 that are in some form of cladding plus apartment complex, and there's some commercial development that is still in the work. So um, the upside is, is nothing seems to be in line to slow that down. Lumber costs are starting to come down a little bit now, but that's never really affected us. These guys have been pumping them out. I don't know if you guys have driven down Santa Fe or 910 lately, but you drive in Heritage too. There's a couple of dozen lots left probably that don't have something going on. It's going very quick. You're going to get a new house, a new neighborhood that's going to be full. Of kids. Yeah, yeah, there was one lot left uh, over there, and I noticed that they we're scraping that lot the other day to build on it. So um, that that development on Main Street uh, no, is, wow. is built out. Wow. Yeah, wow. <clears throat> I don't know the number of lots in here to that are sold. I don't know if they're building spec houses or if they have them sold, but they're they're in here pulling permits regularly. Yeah, Cooper Valley is the same way. Everything on that perimeter is pretty much sold. The, everything in the middle is that. Yeah, that, that's what I was looking at. Those are the lots. And, and there's houses going up on those. Um, there are new permits, new houses constru under construction in the new phases of Joshua Meadows. The phase 3A is uh, almost built out. There's one or two lots left in there. Um, anything that hits the ground here goes. The average day for, I, th I think, a home to be on the market here is less than 10 days and it's that's incredible it's i had somebody stop by this weekend offered to buy my house that's okay. <laughs> a realtor so and offered offered me you know I, we weren't interested in selling but he offered and i told him i didn't have any plans to move yet and he said well kind of give you a number and i said you can do whatever you want and he wrote me down a number and i said that i will be here in another five or six years we'll downsize when the kids are out of high school right now you can't find me well, yeah, I, I couldn't replace what I have now. And, and it's almost paid for, so I don't want to start over. And over the weekend, I think it was, uh, I saw something on the news that the market is going to increase 21% in uh, value in the next 12 months. <clears throat> that was a conservative figure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they cried at 30,000. The house next door to me, I'm told, just and it's I think 1,670 square feet. Um, wasn't even on the market. I, I don't know how the guy. I never saw a sign in the yard. The guy just came over today. Just bought this house, and um, the guy that he bought it from told me that he bought it for three hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, ours is about 1,750 square feet. It's, we bought it new 18 years ago, but uh, I just can't believe the prices. No. I mean, it's a uh, I, I built that house 12 years ago for $124,000, and I did it myself. <clears throat> um, 
and I've, I've seen, I've been hit pretty hard the last few years from the price increase. First seven or eight years, never heard from the state the same. Yeah. Uh, then it started shooting up, but it's 2,464 square feet. He offered me 375,000 for it. <laughs> and he and never even stepped in the door. I said, you only go in and look at it? Because That's I'm, triple what you Oh yeah, before. but I couldn't build that house for that today. I couldn't you take know. that profit. No, right. That's, that's the problem. I'd end yeah. up with, yeah. A, yeah. with a, high, a bigger mortgage than I have now. Yeah. Yeah. So there's I, no that's point that's the wrong way. I don't want to go that way. <laughs> <laughs> I want this one hundred and four foot. I had this thing about debt, and I'm not a fan of it. No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, do we have any future agenda items <clears throat> to consider? Not that I want. Okay. Then at 6 50, we will adjourn. Good morning. Good morning.